I'm a Jewish guy from New York City. My parents told me that I either had to be a doctor or a lawyer if they were going to pay for my college. I went to college and I told them I was going to be a lawyer, but secretly I was writing. Never went to law school. <laughs> In 1975, I was working for the great Italian filmmaker Federico Fellini in Rome, Italy. While I was there, I got into a pretty bad car crash. I was a passenger. I covered my face with my right arm, and my right arm got caught between the two bucket seats and was severed. After the crash, I was transported to an Italian hospital run by nuns. Now, I was Jewish. They did not care. The doctors did say I would never, ever move my hand, my fingers, or my arm again. The nuns had a different idea. They said prayers and invoked St. Jude. St. Jude is the saint of lost causes, of the impossible, of things that just can't happen, things like miracles. While I was healing in the hospital, my hand had a life all its own. My thumb came back first, and then my forefinger, my middle finger, fourth finger, and pinky in that order. And I actually wrote a book about being thumbs up in your life, always pointing at your purpose, giving your middle finger to fear because fear is just the number one enemy, marching forth on your dreams, and that little things are really the big things. Human beings are meaning-seeking creatures. We're always looking for the why, for the story, for the essence, for the DNA, for the, the force. They're all invisible, but they're all the most powerful. And if you have a why, you can deal with any what, any who, any when, or anywhere. You gotta have a why. I left the hospital with moving fingers, a moving hand, and a moving purpose. To be a writer who would write the world.